Welcome to Art and Animation's introduction to Adobe Animate. In this tutorial, we are going to get familiar with the user interface of Adobe Animate. Let's start by double-clicking on the Adobe Animate icon to open the program as seen in the video. Here, we see there are four buttons on the top left. Home, Learn, Create New, and Open. The Learn button will take you to the lessons that Adobe Animate has for us. The Create button opens a new document, and the Open button opens an already existing document. Organized horizontally, we can see some preset document sizes that are standard for certain formats like Full HD, Android, iPad, etc. You can easily choose a preset size if you're working for any particular device. We could also use the shortcut Ctrl N or go to File on the top menu and choose a new option there to create a new document. To use a standardized size like we saw below for any particular format or device, we can choose the Create from Template option. Then the Open option obviously opens a previously created file. Adobe Bridge will take you to the Adobe Bridge program which allows you to see files that might have been saved in another Adobe format. For example, you can see PSD files which are Photoshop files or AI files which is the Adobe Illustrator format and so on. The Open Recent button will give you an option to quickly choose and open from the recently worked on files. You'll notice that the shortcuts for all these options can be seen right next to them. So if you can memorize the shortcuts, you can go to the options faster rather than going to the menu tab and clicking on them. Now let's click the create new button. We see a new window pop up with several categories to choose from. We can see that we are on the character animation option by default. We can see a few options for the resolution. We choose full HD here. This is probably the most used format. After clicking on Full HD, we can see the details to the right of the window, like the width, the height in pixels and the frame rate and the platform type, which is ActionScript 3. Next we see the Social option, where we can see several presets for social platforms like Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. Then there's the Game option, where again we see several presets for various gaming platforms. And it's the same with all the other options. Now let's go back to the character animation option, go to full HD template and click create. We can see that we have a new document to work with. That's all for this tutorial, we'll start with introduction to Adobe Animate interface in the next one. Hope you found this tutorial helpful, thank you for watching.